So how do you pick out your running or your workout shoes? Are they cute? Do you like the color? Are they on sale maybe? Valley News Team's Lisa Badeau talked to the exercise experts over at Sanford Power Center about buying shoes to prevent injury. Women tend to be big offenders on this one. I'll admit that I bought these shoes for the gym simply because I wanted pink shoes. But the experts say not having a shoe that fits your foot properly can cause a lot of problems. The trainers at Sanford Power say you shouldn't shop for what looks best, but instead what has the best design for your foot. The right fit can help prevent injuries in not only your feet and ankles, but your knees and hips since everything is connected. They recommend you do some research and buy shoes where the salespeople know their product and know how to properly fit your specific needs. If you're really flat foot or you have a high arch, there's going to be different shoes for both of those options to give you the best support. Um, and that's going to go a long ways for preventing injuries. Um, and usually one thing is a lot of our PTs look at would be right away what's, what type of shoe you're going to be wearing. Another key piece of advice, don't make shoes multitask. Walking shoes are stiffer. Running shoes are more flexible with extra cushioning to handle greater impact. If you do both activities, get a pair for each one. Lisa Badeau, Valley News Live. Here are two other things to remember. Bring your own socks, the ones you wear when you wear your new shoes. If you wear orth orthotics, uh, you bring in those as well. And don't believe in breaking in running and walking shoes. They should feel comfortable right away. But, you know, those colorful ones, they look fun. I thought Lisa's looked very nice. They did, and they looked comfortable. Yeah. Well, later in sports, it has been a full day of playoff action in the Valley. Beck gets you caught up with all the scores and highlights. Up next, the major move by Facebook to identify and help people who might be contemplating suicide.